Hey everyone, it's Riddick again! And it's Shandor. Welcome to the weirdest, the probably creepiest and the most disconcerting Mandala effect we're going to talk about. So far in this series we've had Tankman, we've had Henry VIII and the Turkey Leg, probably the most unsettling for me. We've had the Statue of Liberty, last episode actually. But today we're going to be looking at a very different kind of case. Something that is based entirely off of records and anecdotes of a movie that doesn't exist supposedly existing. Okay, let's start. When you hear the name Sinbad, chances are you think of two things. Either a Middle Eastern sailor, or you think of an American stand-up actor. Now, I'll confess, I'd heard of Sinbad before, obviously, but I don't recall having ever watched a movie that featured him, and browsing through his list of movies, I found out the only movie I've actually seen with him in it was the 2002 Hansel and Gretel movie, which I bizarrely remember because it had the Sandman, and it seemed ridiculous to me considering that Thomas Hayden Church was a much better actor. But in all seriousness, I don't know much about Sinbad myself, except for the sailor, so I don't really have anything really to say about it myself. That being said, it turns out that when a large amount of people hear the name Sinbad, the first thing that comes to their mind is a movie where said actor played a genie. A large amount of people recall this movie being called Shazam. Now to me, Shazam has always been the name of an application where you can play music and your phone will identify which song you're playing, but not to these people. Apparently to them it's some movie with a guy named Sinbad as a genie. Anyways, the very first Sinbad genie post was made on Reddit about two years ago, but there doesn't seem to be anything that precedes that on the internet. But it's obvious from the post itself that it does indeed exist prior to the first post in the view of the guy who wrote the thing. So, what do people remember from the Simba Genie movie? From now on we will refer to the movie as Shazam because that's what the people that believe in the movie call it. Well, here's a collection of things about Shazam. One experience. A brother and sister lived with their single dad. The children rubbed the lamp in front of the fireplace in the living room. And out came Sinbad in very colorful clothes and stretched out his arms heavily in the smoke-filled room. He gave them three wishes. The girl first became upset and shouted that it was a kidnapper. The boy wanted a flying object in the shape of a skateboard or carpet, and the kids were amazed when he carried out the wish. The girl who happened to have broken her doll used a wish that will be whole again. When they then had only a wish still used on- this is a broken sentence- used them onto wanting her mother back. But Sinbad said he cannot do that. It is a rule that cannot be broken. Later in the film, they were at a pool party where the children managed to nudge down bad people into the water with the help of the flying object, including his father's mean boss. And they used it last... This is another broken sentence. The wish at the end of the film that made her father no longer had to be single. Here's another. I remember the movie Shazam so vividly. I remember the ads for the movie. I remember my grandmother taking me to go see it. I remember the VHS box. The box was yellow and purple. Sinbad was dressed as a typical genie and had his arms crossed, not stacked like Shaq. He was wearing gold puffy pants with gold puffy shoes and a pink or purple vest. He had a large looping earring and a gold puffy hat with a feather and some jewels. His body was coming out of a spinning tornado that originated from a genie lamp. The cover said Sinbad bigger than it said Shazam. Shazam was shaped like typical 90s graffiti art. I remember when Kazam came out thinking, this is stupid, why would they make another genie movie? Didn't they just make Shazam? I remember making references to Shazam throughout my life, just like Three Ninjas or Home Alone. And I remember when the music app Shazam came out and thinking, that's like the genie symbol movie from the 90s. And one more. Sure do I vividly remember it. Sinbad was a very powerful genie and also very much in love. He lost his love, she either died or left him, which sent Sinbad on a downward spiral. A brother and sister of a single dad find the lamp. It wasn't a lamp, I want to say it was a musical box of some sort. They release Sinbad, who is struggling with magic at this point. The little girl wastes a wish, which causes the brother and sister to argue until they both come to the conclusion that they want their father to be happy again. So they commission the genie to set his father on dates. Sinbad then begins to slowly regain his magical mojo. The father's happiness is tied in with Sinbad's magical ability. That's pretty much the story. So those are just some stories about this mystical movie called Shazam. If you look closely, you can see that they generally have a lot of concepts and ideas in common. But these ideas are actually relating to the movie with Shaq, which is called Kazam, like I said. So a lot of their ideas are actually bastardizations of what happens in Kazam. Suffice to say, I think that this Mandela effect is yet another result of people just believing whatever they want to. They hear other people talking about it and then construct or manufacture memories of such a thing, when it never happened. There is no proper reason to believe that this is the reality of the situation. 
In fact, as of recent, Sinbad actually made a genie clip. The entire video is riddled with references to the Mandela Effect, actually. Seems like it's a shout out to the Mandela Effect. Anyways, that's basically all I've got to say about this topic. I would like you to please join my Discord server. We can talk about anything that you want in the Discord server, the Mandela Effect, other videos, else again, anything relevant to the topic. It's great and I really recommend it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out Sandro's YouTube channel in the description. And that's all. Link for the Discord server is also in the description. Thanks and keep watching.